Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Huseman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm really excited to be showing y'all my everyday look. I have been wearing this for the past couple of videos and I got a bunch of questions asking how I do my hair, kind of what makeup I'm using, so I thought I would share everything with y'all. So let's get into it. All I've done to my face so far is just put on a little bit of moisturizer and sunscreen for the day. So I am using the It's Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream in fair light and I used to be like a medium and then I was light and now I'm fair light because I feel like I just keep getting paler over the years which is a good thing but I do have a little bit of fake tan on so we're gonna see how well this matches and it's a perfect match and I'm not even using a beauty blender I'm using this Anastasia sponge that I got I think it was a free gift at Ulta honestly I just find that the sponge gives me the best result and the beauty blender I hate that you have to get it wet, whereas I feel like this one's like the perfect squishiness dry. And I do feel like this does a really good job of covering almost everything. I prefer light coverage, but my acne has been pretty bad recently, so I probably will go in with concealer. If I'm not filming, I probably would just do the foundation, but because I do film and I film in HD, I definitely like to make sure everything is covered. Ever since I started my new skincare routine, my skin has been almost amazing except right around my period. But my biggest skin issue is texture and redness. So if y'all have any suggestions for skincare that reduces like redness of the skin, I would be so thankful. I've done IPL to remove the discoloration, but the redness still sticks around. So that is kind of like my biggest, I wouldn't wear makeup if my skin wasn't as red. Next, I'm just going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in shade Light, and I am almost out of this, actually. I use this under my eyes, and then to cover any imperfections. I'm definitely not a makeup artist, but I'm slowly learning how to do my makeup for camera and figuring out like what looks good on me and what doesn't. And I've just kind of gotten a lot more confident with my skin. I used to be so embarrassed about every pimple, every mark. And now I'm a lot more willing to kind of like, like these are completely covered up and we're just going to be okay with it because there is no use stressing about something that's so completely normal. Like everyone gets acne, everyone gets pimples, and I'm so tired of letting my appearance dictate my self-worth. And then lastly, I'm just setting with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I'm just using a big fluffy brush from Sephora. I got like a Sephora brush kit that I use for everything. Okay, so next up is like more my face makeup. So I use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer and this full, fall, full flawless face brush from Bare Minerals. And I've, almost, I've already hit pan, I need to get a new one. And I just use this to kind of like lightly contour, but mostly just to give my face a little bit of depth and get it warmed up just a tiny bit because again so pale SPF is so important to me next up I am taking the NARS orgasm blush and this is my go-to everyday blush I really need to learn how to like switch my makeup up for like anything I feel like I just have the same look that I wear for filming for every day for date night and I will kind of change up my eye look a little bit like eyeliner no eyeliner or like palette no palette but I really want to learn to do like a full like James Charles snatched look where it's like cut crease and like perfect contouring I think that'd be so fun to learn so I definitely need to get on my like YouTube tutorial watching game so let me know in the comments down below if y'all have like a favorite beauty <laughs> beauty like tutorial I guess I could just watch James Charles but I feel like his face is already so angular that he gets that like perfect angled look. I love someone with a round face like mine doing that tutorial and teaching me how to do it with my face shape. This next one is lips, but I'm actually, my go-to is in my purse and that is Pillow Talk. And normally I go for the lipstick, but today I'm gonna go for a lip gloss because my lips are so dry. So if I'm not filming, I probably wouldn't do anything on my eyes, but I really like the way this has been looking on camera recently and I am gonna film a YouTube video today. And I kind of wanted to show you my everyday look that y'all see. So this is Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. It is my favorite. It's kind of just like a pinky sparkle. And I just kind of quickly dust this on my lids with a brush from Sephora. And I just feel like it kind of gives my eyes a little bit of pop. Again, 
definitely want to learn how to correctly do my lids, but this is what we are working with. Next up, we are going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I really like this one because it's quick and easy. I know that like the thin pencil gives me a, so much of a better eyebrow look, but this one is so much easier. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Eye Pen. This is in shoe. It's black. I know that it's black and this is probably gonna be a terrible camera shot because I have to get really close to do this well. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I love this one. I was a big fan of Roller Lash because I liked that it wasn't clumpy and my eyes looked really natural, but I feel like for filming, this is a better look. And then lastly, I just finished off my makeup with this cute little MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray. James Charles made me buy it and I just, lightly spray my face and then I'm gonna wait for that to dry and while I'm doing that I'm gonna get set up to show y'all how I do my hair so I'm just going in with the dry bar prep rally I go between this and the it's a 10 miracle leave-in spray but I think this one smells better and I don't know I have them both just really been into this one recently and I am just oh gosh it's so gross I'm just using a wet brush to brush through my hair if I didn't use detangler, this would be such a miserable process. I feel like my hair is always super tangly coming out of the shower and I hated brushing my hair before I found wet brushes and detangler spray because it would just be like, I would literally have to like hold it in a ponytail and like as tight as I could like brush out the ends to try and keep it from pulling at my scalp. Because my hair is color treated, I find that the ends can get really dry. So I like to go in with the Whey Hair Oil. And this one is my favorite because it smells just like roses without being too like chemically. So I just do like a pump and a half in my hair and then apply it just from like halfway down to the ends. So my hair is a little bit more damp than I would like for it to be to start using my Dyson Airwrap. I like it to be like 70% dry and I'd say it's like 30 so I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry for a little bit longer. I know there's an attachment to like quickly dry it a little bit more, but I always find that I over dry it and then it doesn't curl as well. So I'm gonna let it air dry for another maybe 10 minutes and then we'll come back and I will style it. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just use like a random scrunchie. I like this one cause it's kind of like absorbent. And then I use these two clips from dry bar to section off the hair I've already done. And I do it in three sections. I like to start with the section if I like touch right above where my ear ends and kind of like pull back. I find this gives me like the best underneath section. And then I just throw this into a bun. It really doesn't matter because you're gonna style it. And then I just make sure these are super brushed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this underneath layer. I take really small sections, probably like this big. I probably, I definitely get lazy as I go along and I definitely need the bigger barrels for this. Um, I'm gonna quickly speed through this part. I do three sections, one right above my ear, one at my temple, and then the last upper section. And I just like this because it gives me these really big bouncy curls. <laughs> And look at this curl. Oh, this is definitely not the final curl. We are gonna brush these out. I just love feeling like such a little Shirley Temple when I first do this. Okay, so that is side one done. There might be like a couple pieces that are a little bit longer, but it's gonna fall. So they'll look a lot more even once they do. And I really like to kind of like w curl this into like one curl, if this makes sense, so that it's like very clear, like these are the done curls. So when I take this next layer down, it is really easy to identify. And then I'll use these clips to kind of like clip this section back because I have a really hard time figuring out like, is this hair been done or not? I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera because Otherwise my hair will dry too much because uh, it just takes me longer and then I won't be able to get as good of a curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these off camera, but I'm just going in sectioning above my ears, at my temples, and then doing the top. 
and I'll sh be back after I finish my curls. Okay, so this looks a little crazy. I am Southern, I am not this Southern. So I just like to kind of like after it is cooled down enough, I will just run my fingers through it. I really need to get like a good wide tooth comb to do this, but I find my fingers work just fine and then I can really control how much curl I'm losing because my hair does not hold a curl. So I really like this, exactly this. I almost wish I hadn't brushed it out just as much because it will drop like, even more. So you'll kind of be left with this beautiful wave blowout. And then on this side, because my bangs really give me this like fair faucet look, I do try and make sure I comb those out. And then I'm just left with these nice bouncy waves. And if you wanted even more, you could take a brush and brush these out. I absolutely cannot do this with my hair because my hair it will just go straight. Like there's no way. I might actually just brush these pieces out because they're a little bouncy. I'm just using the dry bar hairspray, but I'm gonna go do it off camera because I don't wanna get any hairspray on my lens, so. So this is how I get my everyday girly natural look and I love the big bouncy hair. My mom's always had it since I was little, so I really like to wear my hair like this. It just makes me think of her. And I've really just been loving this recently. I would not say I do this every single day, but especially if I'm filming and most work days, I will go ahead and do this. Even though it's locked down, I like to still feel kind of like polished and it just makes me feel happier throughout the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out as a growing creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.